Yes, that's right, your eyes are not deceiving you. I am not wearing a hat in a video. But the actual thing I was going to say, really, was uh, I've uploaded an episode of this series. It's been over a week, so I apologise for that. But, I mean, my schedule's kind of out the window with the amount of games that are going on right now. And plus the fact I don't want to upload it quite as much as I did before because I often found that when I did that, I didn't enjoy it as much. And what's the point in doing it if I don't enjoy it, you know? We return with a massive game, all right? Stoker in second, we're in third. We are six points. Okay, I'm not, I wanted to be on the table, to be honest, uh, FIFA. But anyway, we're third, six points behind Stoke in the league table. I think if we don't win this, it's not the end of the world. If we don't get the top two, I'm not going to be too annoyed. It would be easier, and I prefer to get the top two. The players will be more dramatic, only... Our record in the playoffs isn't great in real life. I think everyone knows that. So like I said, the first game is going to be Stoke. Stoke. This is the Stoke definition City. of absolutely bottling it. You cannot bottle it anymore. We'll play that and then we'll simulate Rotherham at home. I will play the away game. I want to, like I said, I want to try and play every single team or more or less every single team. Having said that though, QPR. I'm going to simulate both QPR games just because of the way it's all fallen. So I apologise, Edward, in the comments because you're a QPR fan, mate. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. You're, you're near the relegation zone as well. So that's one of the reasons why. We'll play Brentford away from home because that's always a big game when we play them in real life. And Birmingham away, we've got to play that because they beat us literally in the last episode, probably can't remember because it was that long ago. So we're here at the BTEC City ground. The crowd is out in its force today. All, of course, um, socially distanced, obviously. I mean, yeah, they don't really look it, do they? They're not, they're not at all socially distanced. But this is a, a, a COVID-free world in this simulation, thankfully. Stoke have the best away record in the league. They've, they've won literally every single game. Right, so this is going to be tough. There's that saying, of course, he's a good player, but can he do it on a cold Tuesday night in Stoke? It's not a Tuesday night, it is a Saturday. I think it is anyway. But it is raining, so can we get the job done? As for our team, it is... The same as always, unlike in real life, Graben can score in this simulation. So of course, he has to stay in the team. Stokes team, then we've got Butland, Smith, Martin Zindi, Shawcross, Captain. Is he still at Stoke, really? Bloody hell. Time on Powell, Alan, Klukas, McLean, Gregory and Tommins. Uh, yeah, I mean, is that team really second in the league? I'm kind of surprised by that. They've got some decent players, but second. But come on, up the forest. Let's get the job done, lads. Let's get a huge... Massive three points. This would be a dream start. Graben, straight at Butler. Ne ne nearly uh, English. He nearly spilt the ball. Grabs. Grabs. Okay. Very promising start, Freeman. Yes. Now to Lewis. Graben. Okay. That's three chances that Graben's had now in the first six minutes. No. No. Just don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this happen again. No! Come on, boys! What's that all about? We've been all over them and they go and score. That is the most forest thing of all time, okay? Every forest fan knows that. We're dominating, and then they go and score. I'm not losing to Stoke again. I can't, okay? I will have nightmares again. I have had nightmares many times since July. We can't have that again. Come on, Forest. We're better than this. Lolly, now to grab him. Lewis. Go on. Keep going. What a pass. Joe. Okay, progress. Lucas. Come on, boys. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. I don't. Just don't. I don't. Just don't. Lewis. Why did I diver? Why? I should have got closer to the goalkeeper as well. Well, half time, one not down to Stoke. I can't go through this, lads. I can't. Grabs. That's quality. What a goal. What a goal. He can score goals. Please start doing this in real life, even though you're injured, all right? But still, we equalise. That was honestly a banging goal, you know. Lyle Taylor, of course, scored a goal very, very similar to that from pretty much the same position. I think Taylor's was a little bit better, but still. Graben, what a top goal that was. Go on, Derinkwa. Go on, Derinkwa. Go on. Tendai. That would have been great. Still could even be, though. Grabs. That was quality. It wasn't even Graben, was it? It was Grant. I'm sure that was Grant, but we lead. We lead Stoke. You love to see it. Brilliant play. Easy as you like there, to be honest. No one was really on grabbing. I mean, no one tried to tackle him properly, but 2-1 we lead now against Stoke. Second. 
Sorry, no. Third, a leading second. Could we be on for a complete comeback? I mean, we have already have come back, but... Oh, mugged him off, Grant. This is incredible. All of a sudden, we are now playing really well. Three changes I'm going to make them. We're going to be on Yates, Taylor, and Christie. Because why not? Taylor. Lal Taylor. That's quality. This is mental. Amazing scenes, lads. Honestly, I can't believe this. We have completely changed in this second half. Because first half, we're having chances, but we just could not put them away. And now it's good three in the second half. Completely turned it around. Well, thankfully, we're not going to lose to Stoke again. But more importantly, we are closing that gap on this very team that we're playing. Oh, right, okay. Without me even realising, Stoke have had a man sent off. I just normally skip when I see a yellow card. Don't normally put that in, but I didn't realise he'd already had a yellow card. So he's been sent off. There we go. What the hell happened? I didn't even see the goal go in. It just cut straight to the re. I swear it cut to the replay before the goal even went in the back of the net. But okay, Stoke going to go back. Is that Stephen Fletcher? Fletcher, don't, 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 Mikel. Okay, I just can't let that happen. Go on, brilliant, fantastic. Oh, could have killed it. Oh, right. I just skipped the replay. What is it with me skipping? That's weird. Okay, but full time, we beat Stoke. Most important thing. 3-2 victory. And we get redemption. I'll, I'll definitely take that. Really good performance as well. So after that, we are still third. Three points behind Stoke after 21 games. Okay. Not bad. I'll take that. Right then, Rotherham United. I've made a few changes because they're down towards the bottom end of the table. This has happened uh, last season. We made a few changes in real life. It didn't tend to go that well. But I, I have faith in the boys. I swear to God I didn't plan that. Well, this is going absolutely spiffing, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. It didn't tend to go that well. But I, I have faith in the boys. Incredible. Maybe making five changes or whatever it was was my mistake. I've done a Sabri. I won't do it again, but I most likely will. Right, I've bought on Ribeiro for Dorinqua, put Christie back to right back because Dorinqua had a terrible rating and Carvalho did as well, so Freeman's on. Is that going to make any impact? Never underestimate an opponent. I tell myself that and then I go and make a lot of changes. Nice. So that win against Stoke kind of has been cancelled out now, hasn't it? Because we're now six points behind them again, are we? Okay, Stoke haven't played, but I guarantee it will be. So we've got Brentford now. They're just outside the playoffs. They're a few points adrift, but still can't write them off. Watford top, Stoke second. We're somehow third, even though we just lost that game. Oh, no. Is that nine points? We're nine points behind them now. We're three. We're three. Where, where even are Rotherham in the league? It's the 20th, and we lost to them. So then we're here at Brentford's ground. It looks absolutely identical to their new stadium, of course. And I need to stop mentioning, like, the stadium. Because obviously they're not, most of them in the championship aren't in FIFA for some reason. Because they don't have the licensing. Anyway, not relevant. But still, a huge game. Brentford away. We won here in real life last season and at home. So we've got a pretty good record against them. Obviously the playoff final... Uh, last season in real life too. So they are no easy team at all. So their team then, of course, they've lost Watkins and Ben Rama in real life. But Ivan Tony has been really good in real life as well as a replacement. He, of course, starts. I'm not sure about that number 19. I have to say his name anyway. Fosu, Jensen, De Silva, Norsgaard, Henry, Jansen, Pinnock, Delsgaard and Rea. A very good team. We are the same as before. Losing to Rotherham was not great at all. In the slightest, especially at home, even though it was a sim game, but still annoying. Um, but yeah, this isn't going to be easy. This isn't going to be easy, more like uh, English, David. But Birmingham, that's not going to be easy either. Anyway, Jensen. Okay, I need to learn to stop talking nonsense because then we just go one nil down. Did any of what I just said in the build up to that goal even make sense? I don't think it did. And that's that's what happens when you, you don't concentrate. Jensen, just don't. What the hell just happened there? Ivan Tony, man. 
he's been absolutely quality for them. De Silva. Can we actually get the ball clear, please? What is going on? If that had gone in, I would have just quit the game. They're absolutely bossing us. They're bossing us. Well, half time. Not great. I mean, that's probably being quite polite. 1 0 down, Brentford bossing us. Create something. Grabs. Grabbin! We are going to absolutely rob them. If, this, if, if it stays like this, we do not deserve it at all. But I'm not going to complain because we're equalised. Is it going to happen again? Because when we equalised against Stoke, we weren't playing that great. And then we really picked up. Here, we've been terrible basically the whole game. And we somehow are level. I don't know how. We are Burnley right now. We are the Burnley of the Championship right now. Alright, we're going to go defensive. We're bringing on Figueredo Christian Yates. Because I have literally no clue how we're not losing this game. I, I don't have a clue how we're not. So I'll just stop it there for a second because somehow I managed to edit out Joe Wall being sent off. Just don't ask how, but Wall got sent off, so Figueredo will be starting uh, in the next game. Um, so yeah, I'm, I don't know how I managed to do that, but I mean, I'm thick, so yeah. It's not like Forrest to concede in the 90th minute anyway. When does that ever happen? We never normally concede in the 90th minute, ever. So, uh, you know, that's... That makes it all right, um, but in reality, they deserve to win that game because we were terrible, pretty much, really. We only lost two of our playoff rivals twice. The others were just kind of like mid-table, but all below. We're going to simulate the game against QPR because they're just above the relegation zone. We beat Stoke, which is fantastic. You know, we needed to do that to gain some ground on them. We did that. And then we lost the next two, and now we're just basically back to square one again. Losing to Rotherham in a sim game was very poor. Losing to Brentford, we deserved it. Birmingham away is always a yo-yo fixture in real life, uh, so I'm not expecting that to be easy. But we'll simulate QPR, and we'll start the next episode with Borough and Norwich. And that's for the FA Cup third round. You normally want to try and face a team that you, you, know, you haven't played for quite a while, or very rarely get to play an easier team going a bit of a cut run maybe so we get manchester city away from home that's going to be in the next episode so i can't wait for us to get battered 4-0 there this time i'm playing a team that i actually lower than rotherham i am not taking the risk i'm playing full strength team carlin grant 1-0 forest that's like his second goal for us he's not been bad grant he's not been anything special but I mean, I'm not going to lie, he has improved it. And now it's 2 now. Luke Freeman. Okay, don't bottle this, lad. I'm going to get cocky and say with one, but don't bottle it, all right? This is mental. 3-0. 3-0. Okay, lads, grab them. We suddenly turned up for this game. What happened again to Rotherham? Made three changes. I brought on uh, Lyle Taylor, Carvalho, and MB So getting a very rare chance off the bench. There we go, full time. Very, very good result. 3-0. We got the job done for once against a team struggling, which doesn't very happen. Doesn't very doesn't happen very often for Forest. Ignore Rotherham. I think both some games when that kind of makes up for it. To be honest, if we get a win against Birmingham in a game I've actually played, I think overall a successful episode. Yeah, well, losing to Rotherham, Brentford. I mean, they're a good team, but still. Anyway, we won. Guy Tang Bong. I've been playing pretty well lately. I'm feeling good. I hope this means I'm not going to be on the bench against Birmingham. You've played literally one game all season, mate, and that was about a month ago. So what the hell are you on about? Right then, here at St. Andrew's, final game of the episode, sixth versus fourth. And because I'm thick and an idiot, I forgot to put Joe Wall back in the team, which is quality. So Figueroa's still starting. Birmingham's team then, we've got Efridge, Mendia, Dean, who's captain, friend, Pediston, that Croatian guy in midfield, San Jose Crowley, Sanchez, Terrell and Jux... Oh, how do you say his name? Djokovic. Someone. That that really good striker they've got. Our team is the same apart from Joe Wall, of course, like I said. This lot literally beat us in the first game of uh, the season against them. Not the first game of the season in general. Of course, we thrashed Derby, but still... 
it's going to be interesting this. I'm not expecting it to be easy. It's always a bit of a bogey fixture, especially away from home against Birmingham. So we've got to be careful here. Corner to Blues then. It is going to be, who's that? Crowley swings it in. Jukovic. We know what a threat this bloke is, okay? He's their main man, Jukovic. I'm not expecting it to be a nice game at all against him. Come on, boys. We're better than this. We are better than this. We cannot be losing to two of our playoff rivals and promotion rivals just in general. Well, it's all in our favour. Possession, everything. It's really, it's lining up to be... I'm expecting a comeback with those stats. Free kick. Okay. I forgot what Bray said. But... Lolly. Never going in. How the hell have you made that work then? I'm staying silent just to try and make it somewhat easier for me to get a goals back. But where the hell's Gum going anyway? Where was he even going there? We worked that really well to be fair. From nothing we kind of made that work. But Graven gets yet another goal this season. And we're back in it, potentially. I apologise if I'm a little bit flat in this episode, but, I mean, we played really well against Stoke, and since then we've been, well, in the games I've played, crap, really, haven't we? Instantaneous reply. Let's get back-to-back -back goals. Yes. Offside. Damn it. Keep it going. Freeman. He's really, really up the tempo since they went 2-0 up. We've got much better, but we're still losing. Well, we ended the first half pretty well, really, but... Other than that, losing again. I can't really be that happy, can I? Come on. Rinkler. That's basically the story of the game. I whip in a ball and they just clear it. Right, we've got to change something. We've got to change something. I'm bringing on Amiobi, Carvalho and Taylor. Just a load of attacking players. Basically, Taylor and grabs up top. They're deserting. What is it now? What is it, lads? Back-to-back -back games. Back-to-back -back games where... We've just been crap, and that sums it up. That sums it up. That's such a terrible goal to give away. And yet again, Birmingham. Back-to-back -back games, Birmingham are going to beat us. Both times, they've done a double over us right now. On target. <sighs> Take the bloody kick, for God's sake. Full time, 3-1. I know it's only a game, but I'm just so flat after that. I've been flat ever since that Brentford game. We've just been so... I just don't understand. We started slow against Stoke. We really, really got going in that second half. Brentford absolutely bossed us. Birmingham did exactly the same. Losing that same game against Rotherham was poor and being QPR. We, I think top two is a big ass now. Playoffs, I will accept... I don't want the bloody, the pain of going for the playoffs. And let's not forget, back on the pumping career mode, I won the championship playoffs, so I can win the playoffs. It is possible. I've, I've gone up on YouTube and off YouTube before via playoffs, so it is more than possible. What is that? Eight points off Stoke? It's not great, is it really? We've got Norwich in the next episode. That is a game I 100% should be playing live, but there's just so many, it's so ridiculous how many fixtures they are. It just, I just can't fit it all in. Burr of 14. I feel I should be playing Burr, so maybe I, I will, I don't know, I probably will. So the next episode then, like I said, Burr and Norwich off camera to, to uh, start things off. And then we've got City away from home in the FA Cup. I don't care about the cup this season. We all want promotion, like in real life. But if we were to beat City, that would be mental. I, I still want to go out there and just try our best and just have a, a fun day, but probably will get battered most likely. Cardiff are struggling in real life. I, normally, I would, I would definitely play that. But Bournemouth, they're well up there. They're right. I think they're, they're above us, in fact. So we've definitely got to play that. And it's away, you know, real life. Uh, former Premier League stadium for the last five years. We'll simulate Barnsley because they're, they're doing terrible. Huddersfield are actually 11th, not even doing that bad. And their ground is pretty cool. So three massive games next episode. City, Bournemouth uh, and Huddersfield. In fact, I've just realised we're not going to play a single home game next episode live. And also, by the way, the episode after next 
it's the Rams away. Don't miss that. We've then got Millwall in that episode as well. And I'll probably play... I don't know who's doing better. But whoever's higher in the table, probably Reading. But I really hope you're enjoying this series, lads. I know it's not quite as consistent as it was last year, but uh, I don't want to do it quite as much or quite as frequent. It just depends on, like, streams, because I do streams to games, of course. And I, I want to try and do other stuff as well. Forest, non-forest, or just general football stuff. I want to do... I like to do a bit of everything on this channel. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why. I uh, hope you understand. And, yeah, I'll see you very soon, lads. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed and I'll see you very soon.